Hi there, this is the second video of solving linear recurrence relations with constant coefficients, but in this video we will consider when the right when the equation is not homogeneous, which means the right hand side is not zero. So when we are solving this, uh, it's gonna be again just almost same with solving uh, differential equations. And so we will say we will have a of nh, we will need to get an homogeneous solution and we will need to get a particular solution. So when we are getting homogeneous solution, we will just think like this right hand side is zero. So we already did this in the pre on the previous video. So this will give us r squared minus three r plus two. I won't go, go into details here. So this is just gonna give me of a n is equal to a times one to the n plus b times two to the n, b times two to the n. So this is my homogeneous solution. And for particular solution, I have 3 to the n on the right hand side, so it's pretty fair to guess the solution. Uh, this solution is going to be just 3 to the n. And let's also pick a constant because I don't know if it's just going to be 3 to the n or if it's going to be 4 times 3 to the n. Let, we will see. Uh, so, and my general solution of a n, this is going to be just adding both of these up. So I will have a plus b times 2 to the n plus c times 3 to the n. So I have my initial values and but let's also see here I have three constants but I only have I, I'm only given two con, two uh, initial values. So can we find a2 here? Of course we can because if I put n is equal to 0 on this equation I will have 2 times 1 so this is just going to be 2 and if I so this will be 3 times minus 3 so this will be minus 9 so this is minus 7 and if I send it on the other side this will be this thing is going to be 0 so uh, sorry this thing is going to be 1 so it will be 8. So I have three values and three constants to be found so let's see if I put n is equal to 0 uh, I will get a all of these things are going to be 1 this and this is going to be 1 so I will have a plus b plus c. This is equal to 1. This is a0. If I put b is equal, n is equal to 1, a plus 2b plus 3c, this is going to be equal to 3. And the next one is going to be equal to 8. If I put n is equal to 2, I will have a plus 4b plus 9c. And now I will just solve this equation. It's not hard to solve. So if I subtract first from second, I will get b plus 2c is equal to 2. And if I subtract first from third, I will get 3b plus 8c. This is 7. So if I just multiply this by 3 minus 3 and just add them, so I will get 2c is equal to 1. 2c is equal to 1 and so c is 1 over 2 and if I put 2c is 1 I will get b is equal to 1. So I have b and c and so if I just add these I will get 3 over 2 so a should be minus c. This is minus 1 over 2. So my general solution a n uh, this is going to be a is minus 1 over 2 plus b times 2 to the n, which is just plus 2 to the n, and 1 over 2, 2 to the 3 to the n. So this is my answer. Let's check it for a few more values. So, well, uh, the next term is going to be a3 is 21. Let's see if this satisfies. You can check this 21 from the given recurrence relation. So if I put n is equal to uh, 3, so this is going to be minus 1 over 2, and this thing is going to be 27. So it will be just 27 minus 1 over 2, and this is going to give me 8. So this is just 13 plus 8, which is equal to 21. And this is just, uh, just to check that we are on the correct page, okay? And this is the end of the video. So this is our answer.